Coors Light is on a gadget run and now wants to turn your beer can into a mosquito killer. I'm Jeff Beer and this is Fast Company's brand hit or miss of the week. This week, we're giving a brand hit to Coors Light. In the universe of marketing, there may be no more freedom for creative absurdity than with beer. Okay, maybe candy, but still. Is there any other category of product where the funny and or absurd is not only encouraged, but expected? This brings us to Coors. This week, the brand unveiled a ridiculously, yet maybe helpful, gag gadget that aims to protect you from one of summer's worst murderers of fun, the mosquito. It's called the Thirst Trap, and it's a plastic funnel-looking contraption you attach to the top of a beer can. The idea is that you put it on an almost empty can, and the little bit of beer inside attracts the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes fly inside to get some of that delicious beer, and then they are trapped inside, and not biting you all over your skin and ruining a picnic and or barbecue and or your life. They are, in the words of John Ralphio, the worst. This isn't even Coors Light's first gadget of the week. Last week, the brand unveiled the Coors Light, a flashlight designed and manufactured for the sole purpose of making this really great gag to help NFL star Patrick Mahomes promote the beer while not actually promoting the beer, which would technically be in violation of league rules. Proceeds from the Coors Light go to charity. Both the Thirst Trap and the Coors Light join an ongoing collection of beer related marketing gadgets that have rolled out over the past few years. You've got the Budweiser Goal Light from 2013. In 2014, Brazilian Beer Polar made a cooler that blocked all cell signals so you could focus on your friends instead of your phone. In 2018, Budweiser took its Goal Light idea and adapted it for the NFL with the touchdown glass. And speaking of NFL football, in 2020, Miller Light created the Cantena a modified beer can that can be plugged into your TV to receive free over-the-air broadcasts often available. The biggest win for the thirst trap would be if it actually works in our summer struggle against these pests. To be determined. But a close second is the fun combination of creativity and utility. The downside is this thing appears to be made of plastic and not a recycled material. Boo. At the very least, it'll be a solid garage sale score for a very lucky someone five years from now. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Fast Company's channel, and please come back every week to check out more of the Brand Hit or Miss series.